everyone welcome to the vlog I am currently packing for Maxwell's and my trip to Connecticut it's my first time going to New England and it's our first road trip together so I'm so excited I'm currently packing I spent the evening like cleaning and getting ready and gathering all the food and just folding laundry I had so much laundry because I put it off for so long I hate folding laundry. It's my least favorite household chore. So, but I finished all of that and the mess around me is all for packing. <laughs> I'm figuring out what I'm gonna take. We are going for two nights and I'm the worst overpacker Ever. I, because I like to have options, but I feel like I need to whittle down at least a little bit. But it's going to be really cold where we're going, of course, because it's the end of October in New England, so I need to bring sweaters. And I feel like the space that I have is going to be taken up by the sweaters I want to bring. So I'm thinking I may bring my big rolling suitcase just because the sweaters take up so much space and I have my hair stuff and my makeup and all of those sorts of things. Then in the morning I will start it up again and we'll be heading on our way. But I thought you might find it interesting what I pack. The goal for this trip is not to look cute 24-7, although I would like that very much. Um, it's really just to be cozy because this vacation is just Maxwell and I just trying to relax and unwind. He's been working a lot and it's been a stressful couple of months just with life. So this is our kind of little getaway and the rest and relaxation will be very, very nice. We're going to an Airbnb in Cornwall, Connecticut. And once we have left and this vlog is up, I will share a link to the cabin where we're staying. From the looks of the pictures on the app, it looks adorable and I can't wait to show you the inside. I can't wait to see the inside. We've had this little trip planned for over a month, maybe closer to two months, and I'm so excited. I've been so hyped to see the cabin, so it'll be so great to see the inside. The host seems super sweet too. We've messaged back and forth a couple times and she just seems like the sweetest thing. So I'm really excited and like I love this process of packing because then I think about the trip and I get excited about it and I'm like, oh, how do I want to dress for it? And the goal is to be cozy and we're going to be reading a lot. So, and I'm bringing hot chocolate. I'm bringing tea. It's going to be such a cozy little getaway. And hopefully I can try not to overpack. Although you guys may laugh at me because I probably will overpack. But, and then I'm probably going to work out and I'll log off after I finish before I work out. But yeah. Alright, I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to pack everything. Try to whittle down just, just a scotch. Just a little bit. Now. Oh my god, they're gonna get a lot of you in this video. Well, I'm I don't, excited I don't have too that. much of a choice, but it's okay. It's okay, I understand. Are you telling... Are we gonna have a fight? <laughs> We're not having a fight. We've never had a fight. I know. Anyway. I didn't film this morning because I was in a frenzy packing, but we are on our way to Connecticut and we're about halfway, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Dude, this has not been a good one. You're dropping the ball here, man. <laughs> I kind of am. Oh, man. But we're halfway. We're in the Pocono Mountains, which is really exciting. I've never been in the Poconos before, but we're at a rest stop right now. And even the rest stop is pretty beautiful with the trees and everything, so I'm pretty excited. So that's all I had to say. That's all I was going to do, and maybe I'll show you some of the pretty trees 
here at the rest stop. And then hopefully the next time I talk to you, I will be in an Airbnb, hopefully, or at a Burger King. Either or, I would be happy. See, they're so pretty. Maybe it doesn't look as pretty with the camera, but I swear, they're really beautiful in person. It's pretty foggy though, too. It's kind of gloomy. Good morning. So today is the first full day and only full day, I suppose, that we're here in Connecticut. Last night we got to the cabin where we're staying and we were just so tired. I was so tired from driving and Maxwell was so tired from traveling, but we just wanted to nap. So we napped for a little while and then we had a little bit of dinner. I packed a shepherd's pie that we reheated while we were here. And then after that, we watched Hocus Pocus and a couple other little Halloween Disney shorts. And then we went to sleep, which was very, very nice. It was so cozy. But today, we're planning on going out and going antiquing and maybe going to a uh, used bookstore also and then going out to eat. So it's going to be a really exciting day. But first, I'm going to be making um, more waffles in my little mini waffle maker. I brought that with us. And then I want to show you a little tour of our Airbnb because it's the cutest little mini cabin. So we're going to hop right on into it because I'm hungry. And I think Maxwell's hungry too. <laughs> so I'm going to go do that. But the light in here too is so great. I wish I could take the light with me when we go back to our house, our home. So it's the cutest little place though. It's so cozy. It was the most restful night. I slept really well. So... It was a good omen, a good start to our little mini vacation. Here's Maxwell waiting very patiently for his breakfast, reading his book. <laughs> this is the view outside our window too. I thought to bring the mix and I pre-mixed it and I put it in this Maxwell house tin. I also measured out the milk we're going to need and I brought some eggs and the butter. So it's all very compact. All right, here are all the little mini makings I packed. And then here, our b, b had a little mini mixing bowl, so I'm hoping that it does the trick. And then I brought in here. Oh, I have my whisk. I forgot about my whisk. I brought the waffle maker. Yay! Espresso machine work? No. Oh, really? What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna look it up on YouTube. I feel like the Hick from Hicksville. I've never seen an espresso maker in action before. This is fantastic. And I swear I am mixing up the, the waffles now. Okay, you guys, I've forgotten one of the most integral parts of waffle making. I forgot the syrup, <laughs> so I have run out really quickly to a little general store that's near where we're staying, and I'm going to go pick up some syrup and whatever else that I may have forgotten. Right now, it's just syrup. Maxwell finished up the <laughs> waffles while I was getting the maple syrup. They look amazing. I always love the last little one that's just a little pumpkin. Look, there's chickens! Oh my gosh. <laughs> little family of chickens. They're so cute! Oh, hello. They're coming to say hi. <laughs> They're eating their tomato plant. I don't know if they're actually supposed to do that. Uh, uh -oh. little tomato stealers. Yeah. Get away from their tomato plant. Hey, get, get. <laughs> get out of here, chicken! Ah! <laughs> Oh! 
Oh, that did not work at all, dude. <laughs> that did. These are stubborn chickens. Oh my goodness. They're eating their entire garden. I feel really bad. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I thought I would show you a little tour of our Airbnb. It's just this little little bitty cottage and it's really cute. There's a grill out front. There's a little bench over here and there's a creek just over that ridge there. And then you walk in. I love how our hosts have little pumpkins there on the step. And then here there's these little chairs and then there's this little table sitting area. And then we walk in. And this is the main area. It's just this. And the bedroom, it's a really tiny cottage, but for a weekend it works quite nicely. So you walk in, and to the left is this little sitting area, and there's Maxwell. And then here is the little dining area, little small table, and then here's the kitchen. The kitchen is quite small, but it's very functional has a little oven and a little fridge and there's all my food on the counter that I brought and the microwave and they have a whole bunch of spices and things too which was super helpful up there and then over here they have all the dishes and stuff on top and then here's the sink and it strikes me as a really old school sink and a really old school sort of kitchen so I'm wondering how old this place is before they redid it to be an Airbnb. And then they have these sliding farm doors that lead to the little bedroom. It's also very small as the bed takes up basically the entire little room, but it's very cozy. Here, I'll show you from over here. It's very cozy and the windows look out into the forest, which is very nice. And then there's bookshelves up here. They have little things to read. And it's very, very cozy. It was very comfortable last night. And then there's a little TV there. A little TV there to watch movies on. And then the little bathroom. I don't know if I'll really be able to do it justice because it's so small. But kind of go around the corner. There's another window. And then come inside. There's me. Shower. It's very small, but it's perfect for what we wanted for a little couple day getaway. And there's Maxwell again. <laughs> yeah, very cozy, very lovely. And I think we're gonna go antiquing pretty soon. Okay, I'm currently getting ready. I just have my hair yet to do. I might put some little curls in, but I don't know, my hair might just look good like this. But this is my second cup of coffee. <laughs> I love this Nespresso maker so much. I mean, I've heard that they're really good, but they weren't kidding. People weren't kidding. So I think it's Americano. They didn't, like, they didn't have labels on what the coffees were and the little... They have like a little tin with all the coffee pods in it. It's so cute. But I'm going to have to look up how much an espresso maker is. I have a feeling it's going to be wildly expensive. But it's so good. This is my second cup. And it's delicious. I'm going to be able to like run back to Pennsylvania tomorrow. Oh man. But Maxwell is taking a shower before we go. And I'm just looking... In this little binder our hosts left and here I'll show you I have all my makeup and stuff here but it has like a bunch of menus and things for local restaurants this is the name of the Airbnb the cottage at Furnace Brook it's so cute it has all like their information in it and they have a bunch of menus and things and I'm trying to decide what would be good for dinner tonight I'm thinking we're probably going to take out or maybe we'll eat in somewhere, but it's looking like we're going to be taking out. 
but okay so today's Tuesday and it looks like a lot of places are actually closed on Tuesdays and Mondays which doesn't make an awful lot of sense some of these places look really good I'm really excited see this is the kind of thing I love about vacations too you get to try new foods you get to see what places you've never been to or like so this is my favorite part one of and food is just a part of the experience and one thing that would be nice if we bring food back is our hosts left wine which is really sweet and I had I had about half the bottle maybe last night I didn't finish it I still have a glass from last night that I'm leaving to finish tonight but so if we bring the food back, we wouldn't have to get alcohol or anything at the restaurant. We could just bring it back here and have the wine that's here. Um, or I would. Maxwell doesn't really drink that much. But, oh my goodness. It's just exciting. I love these sorts of trips. Let's see what's around this bend. Just around the river bend. Shit. <laughs> it's on your, it's on your camera now. Okay. There's the covered bridge down there, and there's a little rail trail. And we're just walking around exploring, trying to find a used bookstore we found online <laughs> and can't find directions for because we have no service whatsoever. But it's worth it because it's beautiful to walk around. Mm -hmm. Wanna just go down the trail? Yeah, let's go down the trail. Why not? We found a friend on our walk. He's so majestic. Look at him sitting on that little stone wall. Giving us the stare down a little bit. But he's right in front of a beautiful church. And we're just walking down this little little road. It feels very autumnal. It's a nice little stroll. Alright, we are near just in front of the Covered bridge, there's Maxwell, and here's the Housatonic River. Such a gorgeous view. And here's a little bit of the town. One more shot of the covered bridge because it's so beautiful. And the river. And the mountain. The river. <laughs> here's me. Here's Maxwell putting up with my foolishness. There's a Dunkin' Donuts nearby. That <laughs> Dunkin a receipt donuts, on the ground. A receipt proof that there is a Dunkin' Donuts nearby. Trying to hunt down some food because all the local businesses seem to be closing because we got up and out a little too late. Oh God. You're good. You got it. Okay, I got it. Oh. Okay, I'm Fuck. coming. Commit. Commit. I'm <laughs> I'm committed. You do have to wave to the dude, though, for a show of good form. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Ordered some food. For dinner, I got a Beyond Burger vegan burger, and then Maxwell got fish, fish tacos. tacos with, it came with rice, which we weren't expecting, but that should be fun. We may split that. And I'm going to have some wine. I'm probably going to crush this bottle right here. <laughs> Maxwell's happy camper. Alright, I am back. And it's been a couple hours since I last talked to you guys. Maxwell has been reading. I have been working on editing. Maxwell says hi. I've been working on editing. And I think I may actually split this Connecticut trip extravaganza into two vlogs and so i'm gonna close it out now thank you for watching please <laughs> maxwell's gonna giggle no, no. like comment and subscribe and thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed